Sagittarius, welcome back to White Crow to Row. This is your general love reading for June 2021. Welcome back to the channel, Sagittarius. Jumping right in, pre pull your oracle energy. We clarified the end of the reading. I'm using the Light Seers to Row today to tell your story, clarifying as ever with the Crow to Row. Sagittarius, if something does resonate with you, please be sure to leave a like on the video or do so right now while you're thinking about it. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you are new, if you enjoy the messages, if you enjoy the vibe. Always happy to have you, Sagittarius. Thank you for being an ever wonderful supporter of the channel. I do appreciate you. All right, Sag. Remember, general messages only. Take what resonates, leave what does not. And there you are. The wheel. Wow. Stroke of good luck on the way. And I don't think I've ever had the wheel on the bottom of the deck. Wheel of fortune. Sagittarius, what brought this on? You planted a new seed. Seven of Pentacles, waiting on an investment to grow. Stroke of good luck. Change is coming. Change to something you've been working on or waiting on, waiting for. Seeds that you've planted, Sagittarius, you've been tending to them. Some of you are, some of you really love to garden, by the way. I just actually got a mental image of, of someone working in their garden. That's nice. We love to garden. But for the most of you, this is also investments that you're tending to. You're about to have a stroke of good luck with, with that. Expect change, Sagittarius. You've been waiting. It's been a waiting period for you. That's coming to an end. New cycle beginning with the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Show me the current energy, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. Show me the current energy for Sagittarius. Just saw Ace of Cups try to fly out. <laughs> new love, possibly, considering. New love. What's going on? What's going on for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. Okay. Judgment. Scorpionic energy. Let me know if you're dealing with a Scorpio. You want to release yourself from something? Release. You need to release. It's a resurrection. You're being reborn. Reborn. After the wheel. Beautiful. Beautiful. Judgment. You need to make a judgment call about something. That's backing up judgment, please. Bam. The lovers. The lovers. You need to make a judgment call on the lovers. Gemini energy. Let me know if you're dealing with a Gemini. Got a judgment call to make, a choice to make. Yes, you do. Wheel of Fortune. Change. What's this change you're making? You got a call. Yeah, she's even got a bow and arrow on her shoulder pointed. That's you. Look at that. Never noticed that before. She literally has the your bow the bow and arrow on her shoulder. Your bow and arrow. Satch. Goodness. Goodness gracious. The lovers. There's okay. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Seven of Wands in reverse. Sorry. Seven of Wands in reverse. Some of you are a little back and forth in what you want here. It's, you want love, you want a resurrection. Clearly this is about to be a love reading. <laughs> okay, even though it's general love, but keep in mind, love doesn't have to be a personal partner. It could be a friend, but the lovers are here. So, you know, either way, um, what I'm sensing for you right now though, is you, someone you work with, by the way, Three of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck, or someone maybe that you used to collaborate with. This is this this is you kind of being unsure about who you want to penetrate your social bubble, so to speak. And I don't like to use the word penetrate, but 
for some reason it keeps coming back. So, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, you're a little, you don't want to be defensive. Somehow this person keeps breaking down your defensive walls. That's what I feel the need to say. They get past your defenses. This person does. Or you let, you, it's time for you to... Really get clear and decide from a good, loving place what you want, Sagittarius. You really have to get clear about this. All right. Some of you are really taking up uh, personal spiritual practices right now. You're doing meditation. Good. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep focusing on you. We got sevens coming up again. This is about forward movement and change. This is about a new beginning, too coming in for you with the Fool. Let me know if you're dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries. The Fool, you're taking the leap on something. It is your strength to do so. Collaboration, let me know. Dealing with more than one. Some of you have children, too, as a matter of fact. You could even be doing something with your children. Will your children approve, is what I just heard. You want it to be fair and balanced with your children. You're trying to seek your intuition on it. It is your weakness at this point or you're talking to a Pisces, you let me know. The High Priestess here, you're trying, again, I just told you some of you are like trying, becoming more spiritual, doing more spiritual work and and trying to lead from your core, your center, to get grounded, to get more stable. Gosh, it's like I'm psychic or something. Maybe I should start a YouTube channel. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you're searching your intuition. You consider it your weakness because you can't get clear. What should I do? Or your person could be quite literally a Pisces, you know, or an Aquarius or an Aries for all I know, or a Gemini or a Scorpio. All right. You, let's see what's going on with your person. You need more information, but really, I, I don't think you want anything to interfere with your personal space. If it, if it disrupts your flow of, like, I feel like some of you, and this change is due to you, Sagittarius. I know that for a fact. All the energy that you've contended with this year. You don't want anyone to disrupt your flow. This is a flow that you have built up for yourself. This change is earned. You have earned it. A windfall of change. Yes, you are coming out of hermit mode. You are, Sagittarius. You are. Just to overlay that point, I'm just going to stick that right there, okay? Let me know if you're dealing with Virgo. You have done that dark night of the soul work. Many of you have. You had to go into hermit mode just to get introspection, okay? Show me person for Sagittarius, please. Show me person for Sagittarius. Thank you. Okay, three of swords in reverse. This person has healed their heart to something. Came out of heartbreak. Heavy. Heavy. Possibly a third party situation. This person did. They're coming out of it. You will know this person. This person. Speaking of the hermit, has also, you two probably share this in common. If you are looking at new, new with the fool here, a new love connection that you want to make sure is right for you with the high priestess being there. It's also saying that you're not doing much talking at the moment with this person. You're not sharing much about how you feel right now. That's why judgment's here, because you're being quiet, Sagittarius. You're being quiet about a change, this change, maybe even a personal change that you want to make at this time, maybe even in your connection. You don't want it to break someone's heart. Attacking the three of swords, please. You've had to search really long and hard to make this decision. Do you make it is the question. That's why judgment's here. It's the choice. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to leave someone out in the cold. You don't want to be out in the cold either. This person doesn't as well. This is technically their energy. The thing about the Five of Pentacles is, and you two are probably mirroring each other in this, right? Is that while she's here, 
sulking, feeling sorry for herself. She has the key to open this door sitting right there. Literally. She could get up and go unlock the door and go right in. But she's just sitting here. Which is telling me someone, you two probably have an issue with communication and expressing your true feelings. You have an issue with letting someone in. Letting someone into that personal space because that requires being vulnerable. And guys... It's in everyone. It's in every human being. I'm not putting you down for this trait, Sagittarius, at all. Or your person, by the way. This is true in every human being. Because when you go through something like this, you, you, part of the healing process, guys, is, is, is and dealing with that healing energy is learning how to open your heart back up again. Someone who is recovering from this, I don't expect to to just be so free with their heart, especially when they, when you learn how to appreciate it. Because when you've experienced this, this five of pentacles energy, trust me, you know how to appreciate your own heart, your own cup of love, as it were. Your person could be a Virgo. We'll see. Is there a mutual here? It requires you going through those dark, those hard lessons. That's what all this energy is here basically saying. Because it makes us get in touch with what we really want. It makes us realize that what we have to fight, we have to do the fighting in our own lives, okay? For what we really want. This is the challenge. And kind of two challenge cards coming up right over each other. Let me know if you're dealing with Leo. Okay, you got kind of Leo, Leo energy here. Hello. Okay, if someone wants to communicate, and this is technically the weakness, Knight of Swords, for both of you. You want to communicate something here with someone who, someone you work with, you work with this person. Someone drives a motorcycle, I just heard. Or you see birds at this time, Sagittarius. And look, he's got the crossbow, the crossbow on the back of, of, of his back here. <laughs> Air energy, but with a crossbow. Okay, again, communication wants to happen. It wants to happen quickly with who? Both of you. Okay. Hello. It would make you both very happy to do so. Nine of Cups. In the weakness. It hasn't happened yet. Something you perceive your own happiness. You you sense it ahead of you with the King of Pentacles. Beautiful. Taurus energy here. Okay. You're dreaming about this person? Possibly. You're releasing some kind of mental pressure, mental binding about this person too. You felt like you didn't have options, like you were stuck in a situation before, and so... And I said, I know you hate that feeling. I know you hate feeling that way. It's, I don't want to feel stuck. So I battle myself. I go in and out of my own head about what I really want. I don't want to ever feel like I'm dependent or reliant on someone else. Because, again, I've experienced this right here. Okay? This heartbreak. But you're capable of, of doing this yourself. You are capable of... Managing your own coin. This could be you in your own right, all right? Interesting. The star on the bottom of the deck, you let me know. Now clarifying, guys, if anything's resonating with you, Sagittarius, be sure to leave a like on the video. I do appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, hello. We have the Empress in reverse. Got the Empress, but again... This is you questioning, can I expand in this connection? This could be currently connection. Do we take this to the next level? Someone, someone wants to go to the next level here. This could be you, Sagittarius, the Empress in reverse. The Empress can imply higher level of commitment in reverse. It can imply...
Maybe this is the second time you've tried to make it work with this person. I just heard. I just got that. It would be a wish fulfillment. It's like a dream. The, the, the expansion you want. She's in the upright now. But this expansion. Let me know also if you're dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Where you could have those placements. If you have any of these placements in your chart, all the more clarification for you. But you haven't known how to expand on your own. And that's that's partly why you're being asked to make a judgment call now. So that you can do so independently independently you feel like you may have to do you want to is the question why is judgment here please this is also be people fighting you over your connection competitors jealous some bitches out here you know they're off anyway why is judgment here? We're so much serious. We. Alright. We have the magician in reverse. Me not like. Me not like to see a magi magician in reverse. Over judgment. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's interesting. And a seven of swords. E. Who is this person? You are searching your intuition hard about this person. Gemini Virgo energy. And we do have both of them sitting right here. Okay. Gemini Virgo energy. You perceive this situation. You perceive this person as the magician in reverse. Or this could just... Again, this doesn't have to be... This person has all the tools at their disposal. They're not using them for the right reasons. They're not, frankly, using them at all. They're being... It's in reverse, the Seven of Swords. They're being quiet. Quiet. And kind of sneaky. They want to release this. They're in a, someone wants to get out of their relationship. That's what I just felt. But they don't either. You're holding on. Someone's holding on to you, Sagittarius. They don't know if they want to stay or go, but they don't want. You have options. I saw that. That King of Pentacles there too. Man or woman, I don't care. Someone has options here. And the other person knows it. Do they let you go? No. They don't want that. <laughs> I don't want you to go. I don't want you to get ahead, but I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything to advance this with you either. I just don't want to see your energy go away. That's someone selfishly holding on to you, not letting you advance when they know they're not prepared to take to take or do anything with you. Reverse energies as it applies. And I think that's only a minor story in this, in this particular story. Why are the lovers here and what's backing the magician? Should I clear it? King of Cups, kind of in reverse. Scorpio, Pisces, in my opinion, with this particular card, it's Pisces for me. And we do got a Pisces sitting right there. But we've also got a Scorpio sitting here too, but it's mostly Pisces. In reverse, someone with a closed heart space. Someone who does not communicate their feelings. They're not communicating with you about what they want to do. They're selfishly holding on to your energy, like I said. Do I stay? Do I go? I want to let my seven of wands, my barriers, my wands down, but I don't. Someone needs their independent space to breathe. Someone needs their independent space to create, to be expansive. They need to do this. Who's the cheater here? Who's the liar here? Why is the seven of wands here? You're because you're not standing your ground for this manipulative behavior. Why is the sound of wands here, please? That's the burden you carry. It's the burden you both carry. You're halfway in. You're in and out. Ten of ten of wands. God. 
Ten of Wands on its side right now. I'm going to take it as the Ten of Wands. This is the burden you're carrying, Sagittarius. Some burden here. <sighs> the burden of maintaining your own peace. Or you were saying, I want my own burdens. I don't want to carry your burdens. I want to just carry my own burdens right now. I don't have time to fight with you. I don't have time to fight over you, what you have going on. I need to be able to focus on myself and get clear. I need a new beginning. Change. This is the change that has to happen. The Fool. Why are you here? Some of you need to wear, need to protect your energies as you're going through this change right now. Wear amethyst. You need to wear some amethyst. If, if you're especially if you're trying to unlock more of your psychic potential or connect more with your intuition, amethyst. Yeah. Amethyst is really good. The Fool, why is that here please? For Sagittarius. Thank you. All right, beautiful. Hierophant, to the Ten of Cups, beautiful. You want commitment. That is the new beginning you want. Let me know if you're dealing with Taurus. You need the official go ahead on something. That could be this person right here, this King of Pentacles. You need them to commit to take this leap with you, to communicate their feelings here. It's you're kind of in the dark, as it were. But again, it's funny how we have both the star illuminates from the hermit here, indicative of you carry the star within you. The hermit is meant to go on a spiritual journey, but the lantern, the lantern sits over here, right here. The star is within her, and that's what the hermit is about teaching us what to do, about how to illuminate the star from within. You the higher font over that point, over the full. Sunflowers are important to someone. You need to shine your light from within to embrace your, your Ten of Cups. Some of you already have a Ten of Cups and you just, you want to take it to the next level in your connection. There's your person want to go to the next level with you is the question here. Why is the High Priestess here, please? <laughs> Can't get any more specific than that. We have the High Priestess over the High Priestess. <laughs> Spirit, I love, thank you, Spirit. I just, Spirit just gets very specific. It's like, uh, the High Priestess is here because the High Priestess bitch. <laughs> Because someone's freaking intuitive as hell out here, okay? This could just be me. But someone is like, uh, High Priestess is here because High Priestess, okay? End of story. <laughs> there could be two here as well. Maybe both of you are. Oh, look at that. The High Priestess and the Hierophant. Ooh. Now, Go tech. Now, some of you are definitely dealing with Gemini, and I know that for a fact, because Gemini, one of the readings I did for Gemini, and maybe you should go check if you can find it. I forget what the name is, honestly, but it's on the channel. And it was a career and finance reading for Gemini, I think for April, I want to say. It, there's a playlist. But this, this same scenario kind of was going on for Gemini. For those of you who are dealing with Gemini, you may want to go check out that reading is all I'm saying. But the Hierophant and the High Priestess here to represent the internal and the external. The external and the internal worlds are both true. Well, the worlds that we try to learn, the, hier the Hierophant representing the lessons that we learn on the outside in our environment, and the High Priestess representing the lessons that we learn on the inside, the internal. One, though, however, that we nurture more than the other because... We deal in the real world often, we neglect our, the internal world that accompanies it. 
And that is so true because here we have the Hierophant in the strength and the High Priestess twice in the weakness. You see here, one of these situations involving our emotions gets stalled more than the other. We need to be able to fight for both. And both people here need to be able to embrace their knowledge. You two kind of um, connect on an intellectual level as well, I want to tell you. I want to say this, it feels very healthy, but it can, it can get convoluted when you two don't know how to properly emote with each other. All right, so you just kind of have some bickering going on. <laughs> little head banter, but this has, you guys have to start feeling more vulnerable with each other. That's the truth. After though, we heal from this heartbreak because someone is going through it right now. Maybe that is also what you both didn't realize you share in common. I like this person for you, Sagittarius. I don't mind telling you, I do. King of Pentacles, that's someone who goes on a journey. That could be you, but whoever you are in the situation here, I like the energy. I think it kind of got off to a rocky start, but, you know, someone has is healing their heart. They feel out in the cold, though, from their emotions. Yes, King of Swords underlying that point. Someone is very up in their head about you. Three of Swords. Why are you here? Why is a person heartbroken? This was a missed opportunity, they felt like. Or they were worried about rejection. The self pity. This is self pity. Something's just straight up sad over here. You know, like. You know, like any of that energy. They're sad. It's very sad. They felt like this was some missed opportunity. Or they, they feel. Show me the four cups. This rejection. Yeah. I'm going to be dealing with Leo. Strength. They're holding back how this is making them feel. They're holding back. Again, they're so... They got this person has so much pride. It's, it's amazing. They got a big ego, too. <sighs> Probably among other things. Okay. Or, again, Sagittarius, this could all just be a continuation of your energy. This could all be a continuation of your own energy. I'm not pointing any fingers here, okay? Either way. Someone has a hard time letting others into their heart space because of what they've been through. Straight up. You've been locked out. You, some of you have really been through it. In the mutual here, or even potentially future, we have five of wands. It's either competition, straight up, that I don't think you're going to be in for long. Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. You're going to free yourself from that from that burden. Yes, good, good. You freed yourself from that burden. That was a burden. You were worried about the competition. Done. We're done with that. We're communicating now about what? Taking swift action. Someone likes going for long rides or um, outdoorsy. Someone's literally running. Running to get to you. I felt the need to say. Someone does drive a motorcycle. I don't know who that's for, but I'm I see it. Okay. Someone wants marriage. Yeah, we're putting down the Five of Wands. Double confirmation here. In reverse, we are putting it down. Five of Wands in reverse. They don't want to compete. They want to discuss that. Or they straight up don't want to fight. I need a bigger clarifier here, Spirit. What am I looking at? What do they don't want to fight over? Queen of Wands reversed. Is that you, Sag? It's not on the board, but I just heard third party. Why? Why is that on the board, Spirit? Why am I hearing that? The lovers in reverse here, under the Six of Swords in reverse. You're staying still, but where's the love? You're in reverse. Other woman. Could be other woman. Queen of Wands in reverse. 
is not only someone who lacks confidence, but could be technically a other woman, or you suspect that, or you are the other woman. There are two lions here. This got confusing real quick. I don't know. Hang on. Someone's staying put. Lovers in reverse. Someone. Someone's holding back. What are we holding back? Someone's got options. They're holding back. more Pisces energy here. Someone is really trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure it out like I am. That's what I feel. What is this? What am I looking at here? Are we on or are we off? Are we calling it quits? Is it a stalemate in our own energy? What are we doing here? What are we doing here, guys? Six of Cups, someone from your past. There you are. Knight of Wands in reverse. You don't even have passion for this. You, Something's out in the cold. Ten of Cups underlying you, though. This is so weird. What's the Nine of Cups? Did we go single? That is personal happiness and the weakness. Someone claimed their personal happiness here. Their own wish fulfillment. This doesn't have to be love, guys. Yeah, some will claim their own victory. Six of Wands. Seven, five, six. Recognition. In the weakness, though. Six and six. Seven, seven, five, five, six, six. Drawn to the three roses. What's the victory spirit? Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Rebuilding. Some of you are rebuilding a foundation. Some of you, this is also a third party. Okay, for some of you. Some of you are in a third party connection as you rebuild. Cherry? Cherry? Someone's cherry. Someone was a cherry. Cherry is also kind of a Vietnam, Vietnam term. You're a cherry, you're a noob. You're a noob, you're a cherry. Two cherries, three cherries, three cherries, yes. <sighs> We're only two crows there though. This could, this was a third party situation. Someone knocked it out. Someone did. Someone got rid of the competition. Yes, they did. Advice. Yeah, someone. Yeah, someone is saying, I'm staying right where I am. Aquarian energy. You can leave. Frankly, Six of Swords in reverse. You can leave. I'm staying right here. I'm staying right here. It's so weird, though. Oh, Sag. What am I looking at? I all of a sudden got real confused. I don't mind telling you. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. We have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership and calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yeah, this was a third party. Someone is really working hard to continue their relationship. This calling in your soulmate 
this person is your soulmate. Maybe you had to really work for it. Someone's out in the cold. Someone's ex tried to come back as well as what I just got. Someone's ex tried to come back. They couldn't. They got blocked. It was blocked, I think. Two lovers, one you gave up. Yes, okay, I see. Some of you have had that conversation. All right. You're with your King of Pentacles now, Sagittarius, or this is you on your own doing quite well for yourself, okay? Yeah, you were sent a blessing in disguise. Some of you didn't even realize, okay? What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Oh boy. And then we also have, okay, health in reverse. Some of you need to pay attention to your health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Pay attention to your health. Sagittarius. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. We have sex, hug, and kissing. Face and embrace all parts of yourself. Facing and embracing how you emote with your partner. How you share your love language. Again, many of you have, have a problem sharing your love languages because many of you have been made to feel so unworthy of love in your lives. You are absolutely deserving of love. You and your partner, please know that. Okay. This stresses you out. Uh, anxiety. That's for someone. I don't like to see it, but something something is really stressing someone out here. And there's a lot of, of of fighting going on here. On page fifty seven. Interesting. Both conflict conflict numbers. Me don't like to see it. Me don't. Me don't. Okay, worry or distress. The woman on this card is filled with anxiety, worry about something that causes her a great deal of discomfort. Receiving this card upright may indicate that you're experiencing a time of increasing stress, perhaps even a situation that you find yourself brooding about much of the time. However, if you notice the scene outside the window, the storm is distant and perhaps even moving away. Whether, whatever is going on, this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax. Brooding and fretting will never solve things, so trust in yourself and your process. When you live with a relaxed heart and mind, you're far more likely to receive the solutions that you seek. The affirmation for this card, Sagittarius, if you would like to say it, I let go of fear and worry. I assume the best and live in peace all is well. I let go of fear and worry. I assume the best and live in peace all is well. Sagittarius, what a reading whole 40 minute reading good night <laughs> only for you sad i hope you're well please leave a like on the video if something did resonate with you i look forward to seeing you very soon i think intimate tarot is next i've been a little uneasy about doing intimate tarot guys um but not for long sagittarius i'm sending you so much love and light I'll see you soon. Take care.